by Ike Uchechu Kukalabar, prelate, moderator of General Assembly of Presbyterian Church of Nigeria has said the rate of political defections may lead the country into the state of anarchy. His Eminence, Most Reverend Nzienesi Ike maintained that if this should happen, God and posterity will hold them responsible for crumbling the country's hard-earned democracy. He made the disclosure, yesterday, at Hope Woodell Parish, Calabar, Cross River State, while briefing newsmen on the forthcoming 23rd General Assembly meeting to mark the 172 years of effective ministry of Presbyterian Church of Nigeria scheduled to start from August 10, 2018. His words, as a church, we are aware that politicians have of late embarked on defections from one political party to the other. It is our hope that the defections will not push the country into a state of anarchy by disrupting the political process and crumbling our hard-earned democracy. Should this happen, God and posterity will hold the political class responsible. The Church believes that all is not well with our nation in different areas. We have been experiencing challenges ranging from loss of lives and property to problem of unemployment and many Nigerians now live in fear. I am worried about the wanton destruction of lives and property across the nation. Not only the killing by herdsmen, but also high rate of communal clashes gives me so much concern. We as church leaders, traditional rulers and government at all levels have not done enough, he said. Worried over the state of insecurity in the country, Eek said President Muhammadu Buhari being the commander-in-chief has all it takes to revamp what he described as the security architecture in Nigeria. The entire security architecture in the country needs to be revamped, we plead with the president to do something urgently, he has all it takes as a commander-in-chief to address all security challenges. While charging members to be actively involved in politics at all levels, he said they should get the permanent voters card ready to be able to influence the society better. On the current development in the church, the prelate disclosed that the church intended to build its first university that would be named after the pioneer missionary, Hope Waddell in Ahafia Okagbu in Arbia State. According to him, the church intends to take quality educational mission to a new level through building a university to be named after the pioneer missionary, Hope Waddell. I'm strongly convinced that the project is achievable. The proposed Hope Waddell University aims at producing new generation of leaders and citizens who will be broadly educated and spiritually equipped, he assured.